Hey YouTube, so this is going to be my fourth post in my vlog series. Um, my leads for my new camera came today, but they don't work, so that sucks. But I thought I'd try something different and try it on my iPhone, see how good the picture quality and the sound quality is, so hopefully this works. Um, this vlog's going to firstly be about UFC 127, Fitch v G BJ Penn, and then at the end I'll just talk a bit about sparring, what I'm doing at the minute, and just see if you guys are interested in that. So, Fitch v BJ Penn, I've got um, some stuff I've written down on my screen, it's going to be nice and quick. Um, Fitch was the number one contender, I'll, every, and I'm saying that and a lot of people are going to say, no, 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 Koscheck was the number one contender and he got his ass beat by, B, by uh, GSP. Well, Koscheck's lost a couple of fights recently, whereas Fitch, you know, he's won his last five fights in a row, uh, and in his last fight he beat Thiago Alves, so if that doesn't say number one contender, I don't know what does, like, only GSP's cleared out the division more than John Fitch. So, this seems like a pretty pointless fight for Fitch. He was already the number one contender, and now he's having to fight again just to maybe in the hope of another title shot. But that's neither here nor here. Here nor there. Um, something to note the, all the last five wins that Fitch has got have been by decision, and this can be quite important. Because both BJ and Fitch are black belts in jiu-jitsu, roughly about the same level. But everyone knows, especially from the last fight, BJ's got some great hands. And I think that's where the win's going to come for BJ in this fight. Um, BJ in his last fight, of course, like knocking his opponent out in the first minute, I think. Minute, 30 seconds. So clearly, you know, knockout power. Fitch on the other hand, I can't see him knocking anyone out. BJ, GSP, any of the top guys really, Dan Hardy, Koscheck, that even even Dan Hardy, and he's not really a top guy. Um I don't see him knocking them out. So I think the way for the way the fight's gonna go is BJ's gonna try and keep it on the feet, because that's where he's got the biggest chance of winning, you know, he's gonna it he can throw punches, it can look to knock out, it can look to stun Fitch. Um, and Fitch is going to look to take it to the ground, but even on the ground, Fitch doesn't have an overwhelming advantage. He, he, he. It's, it's the best place for the fight to go for Fitch, but down there he's not going to submit BJ. BJ's the prodigy. He got his black belt in three years. He, he just, he's a great Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu ground game. So Fitch is going to look to do what he always does. He'll lay and pray. He'll try and eke out the decision. And the only way that I see this fight going to Fitch is if, in a wild exchange, he clips BJ and stuns him, which it's MMA, you know, it can happen. Or taking BJ to the floor and just holding him down, eking out 15 minutes. He could sub BJ, but it, it's not even worth talking about to how lucky or how stupid BJ would have to be to allow him to sub him. When two guys are roughly the same level, I just don't see it happening. I I want both fighters to come in with good, good cardio, but BJ, you know, especially, especially the last couple of fights, has been a bit suspect with his cardio, so we'll have to see how it goes. He's not fighting five five-minute rounds anymore, so I can't see there being much of a problem with that. So, the way I'm calling this fight... I think BJ's going to win second round knockout. B I'm calling it BJ will win the fight unless Fitch gets lucky. I'm not going to cover myself there. You know, in mixed martial arts, of course, when you're giving these predictions, anyone can win. But the odds are, the safe bet, go with BJ. And that's not coming from, oh, BJ was the best for so long, da 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 and just holding on to the old BJ Penn that ruled the lightweight division for so long. I just think BJ's a better fighter. And though Fitch was the number one contender, that, in my opinion, BJ's better than Koscheck, he's better than Hardy, he's better than Fitch. And I think I'd like to see another rematch between GSP and BJ, just see how that one goes. So not only do I think BJ will win, I want BJ to win. 
So that's the end of my review for UFC 127. I know it's only one fight, but I may review the bit the Bisping fight in a later video. So just going to talk a little bit now about what I've been doing, sparring, and everything. So last night I did a little bit of MMA sparring just down at the gym where I'm training at, and I took an absolute pasting. And you see a lot of these guys on UFC, Strike Force, whatever, and they make it look so easy. And just from the little bit of training that I've done in mixed martial arts, like relatively non compared to these guys, it it hurts and it's a lot of thought and effort goes into it. Like leg kicks, I remember looking at them thinking they're doing nothing. I checked a leg kick a couple of weeks ago. The bruise went away after about three or four days. The, these guys are throwing everything into these strikes. So it's crazy Like when you're watching it and you can just see these things and you understand it. Um, Jiu-jitsu. I'm a naturally confident guy. So I have boundless enthusiasm and I always think I'm getting better. And then you go and you train with some new guys. I trained at, uh, in Sunday down at Mansfield. In a Saturday down at Mansfield, and every person I rolled with pasted me, it just completely destroyed me, and it makes you realise how much of a journey this whole jujitsu martial arts thing. I know that's an overused phrase, but it's something that's coming to mind at the minute, and the the amount of effort that these guys put into the fighting, it it really amazes me how they can get to such a good level. And I just hope that part of this vlog will, what it'll do is just spread the word, like hopefully get a lot of the people that know a little bit about MMA talking, make a good, fun, interesting channel for us all to communicate and connect on. But also hopefully if one or two guys that don't really know all that much about MMA, and I'll be honest, I'm no expert. I'm There's a lot of guys out there that'll know far more about this than me, but I think I know a bit more than the average MMA fan. But, you know, maybe not. Uh, I hope so. Um, but if one or two guys look at this vlog and this video and just think a bit more about what these guys are doing and just don't see it as two guys stepping into a cage and brawling, then that's a victory in my books. And I hope that's accomplished. So anyway, that's in this video, guys. I hope this comes out looking good. I hope this sounds good. As always, please comment. Let me know what you do, what you think of the video. Let me know with the sound of the video. Just tell me everything. I'm just looking to improve. I tell you this every video. Also, if you can like the video, it only takes one second, guys, and it gets my videos more views. It gets it gets them higher on the YouTube list, so more people can see and we can just share this whole experience. Um, please subscribe. Um, if you like the videos, uh, it'd help me a lot, it'd help me get more views, blah 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 blah, you get where I'm going with this. Um, anyway, thanks a lot YouTube, and I'll see you around.